Hey everyone, Luke here with the Knee Replacement Therapist. In this video of the Knee to Know Show, I'm going to share with you a simple 10 minute or less routine you can do first thing in the morning to decrease knee stiffness, get the blood flowing, and get off to a good start to start your morning and start your day. Before I jump into the exercises and routine, be sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on the notifications so you can catch all of our videos related to knee replacement surgery. So, starting lying down or just sitting up as you wake up in the morning, first thing we're going to do is nice and easy some ankle pumps. Simple enough exercise, but really just starting to get that early muscle contraction, a little bit of blood flow in the feet and the legs as we get started for our day. So do 15, 20 ankle pumps, doing both legs. Then right from here, we can do our hip abduction. So think about our windshield wipers. So sliding the leg out to the side and back in. Do 10 or 15 repetitions of these. You can alternate, do left leg, right leg, or do 10 or 15 repetitions and then switch and do the other leg. I would definitely recommend, even if you don't have as much stiffness on your non-surgical leg, Doing both sides is always beneficial and helpful and shouldn't take too long. From here, we're going to let the legs stay straight again and we're going to do our quad sets. Pushing your knee down into the bed or wherever you are. Feeling that muscle contraction through your quadriceps, through your thigh muscles. Hold for three seconds, five seconds or so and just let it relax. Again, you can do this with a towel roll under your heel. Have the leg propped up a little bit but not really necessary. You can still get the same benefit, straightening the knee, early contraction of those quadriceps, and relax. Do about 10 repetitions. Try to do each side, and hold each one three to five seconds. From there, we're gonna go right into our heel slides. So sliding your heel up toward your bottom, letting your knee bend, and then letting it come back down. We're just trying to get ourselves warmed up and loosened up for the day. So I wouldn't really do any prolonged holds today. You're welcome to. But really you just want to do some nice and easy repetitions. Get about to your max range of motion. You can get maybe a little extra push, but it doesn't have to be anything excessive at this point. Just doing some slides up and down. Get that leg loosened up, get some early blood flow. From here, I also like to do the sciatic nerve glides, holding the leg up like this, up toward the ceiling, and then let it bend down toward your bottom. Same idea, we're not exactly holding it, we're not trying to hold it or get excessive range of motion, but again, just getting those early contractions and joint movement through the knee and the leg. Do it about 10 or 15 repetitions, nice and easy, back and forth. From there, we can do our glute sets. I like to do them with my knees bent up like this. You can do them straight. You can even do them when you sit up on the side of the bed. Squeezing your butt muscles tight. Hold for five seconds or 10 seconds, and then relax. Squeeze and hold five seconds, and then relax. And you can also do Concurrently, or as another exercise, you can do your pelvic tilts. So again, I like to stay in this position. You're thinking about flattening your low back, tucking your belly, and you should feel your hips and pelvis rotate up toward your head. Hold that position for two or three seconds, and then relax. This is starting to get your hips and pelvis a little bit, loosened up the low back, doing some nice and easy pelvic tilts. Once you're ready there, you can sit up on the side of the bed. From this position, once you give yourself a minute or two to get your bearings, once you're seated and upright, we can do some seated knee extensions, straightening up and down. You can alternate one leg than the other, or I would say do 10 or 15 repetitions on one side, and then switch and do 10 to 15 repetitions on the other side, straightening up and down. Depending on what the clearance looks like underneath your bed, you can also do some flexion. So trying to 
bring your knee back as far as you can or as far as the, the bed allows you to and then just let it come back out. Pushing the knee back, feeling those hamstrings activate a little bit, working on the bending and then back up, back out. Same thing, 10 or 15 repetitions, not excessively max out effort, but just kind of getting to that sticking point and then easing off of it. And then the last thing I like to do is just sitting up on the side of the bed, scoot yourself so your feet are up on the floor, and you can push up if you need to, or you can do it with your arms crossed if you're feeling good, and just do some, some sit to stands up and down. Maybe do five repetitions, working your way up to eventually maybe doing ten repetitions. Depending on what phase you are in your rehab, if you're still using a walker or a cane, I would grab that now and do a little bit of walking throughout your home, throughout your apartment, wherever you may be. Um, a little bit of walking to loosen up the legs. Maybe you're walking into the use the bathroom at this point. Um, but just getting around. It doesn't have to be very far, very long distance, very fast, anything like that. But just doing a little bit of walking throughout your home is another great option after going through this relatively simple early morning exercise routine that's going to hopefully decrease some stiffness and get you moving, get your body moving, get your legs and your knee feeling good first thing in the morning as you are about to go and attack your day. So I hope you found this video helpful and insightful. Please be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button again, leave your questions and comments below. Thank you very much for watching.